With Adventure Time, I think the thing that, I mean, there's so many things that go into why it's, you know, such a broad appeal. But for me, I think uh, the art style, it's very colorful and very vibrant. Um, it, you know, you just get drawn into the world. You want to go see every little bit of this amazing, uh, magical world. Uh, and then the characters are just so, even though they're like kind of crazy and they do all these crazy things, ultimately they're all very relatable uh, in a very real way. And uh, they're going through things in a way that, you know, anybody would, even though they're going through things like fighting dragons and stuff or going to these mystical lands, they're still very real people uh, and they're very relatable. Um, and I think that's what people like about it the most, is they can really see themselves in a lot of these characters. You know, Finn is kind of like the, the little the little boy in all of us, you know, the boy and his dog who just loves going on adventures, you know, it's kind of an idealized version of what we all want to be in a lot of ways. Jeremy, yeah, can you talk a little bit about your emotions recording the last episode and mm -hmm. what the end of the series <clears throat> means for the long talked about plans of a feature film? Yeah, I mean, going into the last episode of anything is always kind of a surreal thing, especially with Adventure Time, because we, you know, I recorded it for eight years from like 12 to 20, so I really grew up <laughs> on the show. Um, and so it's kind of, it's bittersweet always, because, you know, you grow to love the cast members that you're with and seeing them on a weekly basis and working with those people. Uh, but it's also exciting in ways, because you get to, you know, we get to end it on a really good note and kind of wrap everything up that we wanted to wrap up. Uh, I think people are going to really love the ending of it. Um, and then you also have the opportunity of doing new projects and getting to do new things and try out uh, different stuff. And as far as the, uh, the feature goes, I don't really know where that all is at. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say something because I honestly I don't know. You know, it's, it's still up in the air. Uh, I think in some way, shape, or form, they'll probably continue Adventure Time in one way or another. I don't know what form that will take. Um, I think it's very possible, though, eventually, yeah. I'd love it. Um, so you were you referred to like you uh, Finn and Jake as like you know a boy and his dog as well, but throughout the series were, it's like a more of a brotherly kind of thing as well. Would you yeah. consider them as more of a best friend or like or brother or actual brothers? I think the fun thing about Finn and Jake is they do hit on a lot of different levels. There is definitely just the straight up they are brothers. They grew up together, so they are brothers. There's the boy and his dog type thing, but then there's also the kind of almost uncle-nephew type relationship, because yeah. Jake is kind of older than Finn, and so he almost, you know, kind of directs Finn in certain ways sometimes when Finn is like, doesn't know how to deal with a certain situation as he's kind of growing up. But then at the same time, Finn is kind of there to bring Jake back to reality sometimes when Jake is being like kind of funny and doggish and selfish or whatever else. Um, and so they kind of balance each other out really well. That's why I think their relationship works is because uh, they love each other and they're, they're great friends, but the, the weaknesses they both have, the other one kind of has the opposite strengths. Uh, and so they, they bounce off each other very well. Um, what is your favorite part of the cartoon? What is my favorite part of the cartoon? There's a lot of favorite parts. It's hard. Um, I mean, getting to do it is obviously <laughs> the best part because having a job is nice. Uh, but I think one of my favorite parts is the people that I work with. I get to work with some of the coolest you know, voice actors in the business and I've grown up listening to them before I even got into acting and so getting to learn from those people and call them my peers uh, and just hang out with them and get to know them has been just the coolest coolest thing in the world and whenever you have a show that blows up and it becomes so widespread and, uh, and known like Adventure Time across uh, the entire world is always just insane you know you never expect that going in that's you hope that the shows you work on are successful but when people really take to it and just make it their own like they have with Adventure Time that's always super special from the episodes that we have coming up that you've already recorded, mm -hmm. what can fans expect overall from that last portion of the Adventure Time journey? Um, a lot of laughs, which you generally try and hope with with Adventure Time. Um, definitely some uh, some emotional some emotional beats as you're saying goodbye to some of these characters. Uh, they don't not like death, but you know you're you're seeing them kind of wrap up their storylines though, which is always going to be uh, emotional, and you're seeing definitely people come together. Um, I just I think you pretty much should expect exactly what you always get from Adventure Time, which is definitely lighthearted humor that you know brings levity to situations, but that really kind of emotional depth uh, that they balance somehow extremely well, which is two very different things, but they just somehow balance it extremely well in Adventure Time.